Welcome back to New Geelong this Friday evening. Operation Safe Plate is up and running on the surf coast to prevent theft of your vehicle registration plates by having a special one-way security screw fitted. This was a free community service provided by the Torquay Neighbourhood Watch in conjunction with the Torquay SES. Ian Nichols reports. It's Safe Plate Day here on the Surf Coast in the Bunnings car park at Torquay and already business has been very brisk. We know that car theft and the theft of plates is on the rise, there's no doubt about that, and there are reasons for that. That's why we're talking with the coordinator for the Neighbourhood Watch, Rhonda Rotherham. It's our way of um, trying to protect the community, keeping their property safe. So um, we find that with the spike in fuel prices, we also see a spike in theft of um, vehicle registration plates. So we're here today fitting one-way security screws to prevent their theft. Well, I got here nice and early. They seem to be here right from the get-go at 9 o'clock and, uh, and of course it's a service that's uh, theoretically free of charge as well. It is, yes, a free service. We supply, Neighbourhood Watch supply the screws and um, we've been assisted here today by the SES and um, CFA units from Torquay. Um, but yes, we're offering it a free service. Um, if they care to give us a donation, that's a, a bonus. <laughs> well, at least they could buy a sausage sizzle uh, across the, the road there. That's right. And support the Lions Club there. <laughs> yes. Now, how many people do you think, or how many cars do you think might go through today? Do you have any idea? Um, around 200 we'd expect to do in the four to five hours we'll be here. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's 200 vehicles that will be secure. Well, we know that uh, petrol theft, of course, is so prevalent today, but th they also use them for other means uh, to commit crimes, uh, robberies, and uh, maybe even use it on City Link. All kinds of devious things happen when your plates are stolen. Mm -hmm, that's right. Fare evasion or toll evasion on the city, um, you know, freeways. Again, used in um, burglaries quite often, um, so that if the car is detected, um, you know, they've got false plates. And again, you know, petrol theft is the major one um, you know they roll up fill up the car and drive off and of course most service stations have you know CCTV and um, the registration number comes up and um, the next thing you know the police are knocking on your door you the owner of the stolen plates and um, being questioned as to a petrol theft so yeah this is one way of, of protecting your plates and um, preventing any any complications with the law. Well, I suppose the obvious question, Rhonda, how effective are these special screws that you put in? It makes it very difficult for them to be stolen, obviously. Oh, it does. Um, you know, thieves are out there looking for a quick fix. You know, they've got their um, screwdriver, they, you know, want a quick um, exit. But um, these security screws are much more difficult. You do need multi-grips um, to remove them. And it's, it's just a, a time thing then. Um, they haven't got the time to stand around and, and work on screws. So, yeah, it's, it's a quick fix. Yeah. Well, it's a great deterrent, in other words, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Now, how often do you do this? Um, we've got another one coming up next weekend in Geelong West at the Woolworths car park off Waratah Street. Um, we had one a fortnight ago out at Corio Shopping Centre, but usually um, every two months or so. Um, we'll probably run another one during the summer holiday season down here on the coast, um, you know, for other tourists to take advantage of it. But yeah, generally, you know, five or six a year. Well, now, my uh, producer here Noel, tells me you've done 45 vehicles and there's not even one hour yet down the track, so you're right on target for your 200 plus. Well, it sounds like it. That's great news. 45. I know we've been very busy this morning. So. At the Safe Plate Day on the Surf Coast, this is Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Nico. The happy campers we reported on last week that were queuing up for the land sale bargains at the new Villawood Estate at Armstrong Creek on the Surf Coast Highway were very satisfied with their patient wait. Ian Nichols spoke with Villawood Management Representative Rory Costello about the buying spree. Would you believe this is the old hangar at the Geelong Airport, now decommissioned. It's been turned into a whiz-bang sales office for Armstrong, a new community on the Surf Coast Highway. People were so keen to get the first blocks here, the first choice, that they actually camped out. Fortunately, they were able to come in here 
sleep in the kids' cubby house, if you like, or on the floor in a little bit of comfort and wait for the sales office to open on the Saturday. And sales have been booming. That's why we're speaking with the executive officer for Villawood, Mr Rory Costello. The most amazing thing is that people were willing to camp out and they all got on well together in their wait. There was no frustration. Oh, it was amazing. Some of them spent up to four days camping out, particularly three guys, and they spent the whole three days together. They all chatted together. It wasn't just chat five minutes and go off in their own corners. They actually all, all chatted together for the whole um, the whole four days. And then afterwards, when it's finished, they've all exchanged phone numbers, invited each other to each other's places for dinner, etc. And it's, the community has already started. It has indeed, and they were housed in your beautiful uh, shed here, if we can call it that. They weren't actually hanger, yeah, a hanger. hanger. From, well, we must point out to our Melbourne viewers that this is the site of the old Geelong Airport, of course. Yeah, this, this is the old Geelong Airport, which is now being decommissioned, even though we actually had a plane land here by accident uh, last weekend. And the pilot didn't quite realise it had been shut, so um, we're um, taking steps to make sure that pilots are aware that it is um, a fully closed airport. But we've used the old hangar and we've got this massive space inside to really create an exciting sales centre, which having a plane inside and this full map people can walk on, the cubby huts, it's a real, the kids, and the kids just love visiting here too because there's so much to do inside. It really is a tremendous uh, setup here, and uh, people should come down and have a look. I think yeah, it's not whether you're interested in buying a block or not. Just to actually experience what can be done in a great community, people just should come down and, and bring the whole, all the kids because they'll um, they'll love running around with the cubby huts. At the opening of land sales here at Armstrong Mount Dunedin, Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. As we go to another break on News Geelong, don't forget, forget Facebook and Twitter. Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash News Geelong 31 and Twitter, at News Geelong 31. Your thoughts and ideas about shows that you may want us to uh, put to air. We'll take a break on News Geelong and we'll be back after this. <laughs> 